asked me to forget Cousin Hereth was an expert knife thrower. You won't be building any more motorways round here in a hurry. What's in your letter, Bert? <laughs> it's from the Bishop of Manchesterford. No, I can't have an annulment. And yes, I did leave my gardening gloves in the vestry. Hear that, Mrs. Eyre? Uh, hear that, <laughs> Mrs. Eyre? <laughs> Look, Mrs. Eyre. No amnesia. Oh, I am pleased. <laughs> He, you're delicious, how my ginger. <laughs> oh. Coming right up, Miss Berta. Berta and Babs get it themselves, Mrs. O. I'd uh, like a word. Why, of course we could. <laughs> There's been a new development of Berta's father's will. A new one has been found dated the day he died. Who's the sole beneficiary now? That's the problem. <laughs> he met in the blackout in 1943. They had one night of passion and he never saw her again. Or he thought he never saw her. What do you mean, Mrs. O? Oh, well, I'm grey now, Mr. Clifford. Very grey indeed. <laughs> right up until 1947, my hair was red. <laughs> as red as a London boss. <laughs> said he'd never seen a finer pair of twins. <laughs> twins? But a lovely big boy. But where is he now? I had to give him away. We hadn't room for the two cots. Oh, well, he probably would have turned into a hulking great brute anyway. <laughs> oh, I saw our family doctor, Dr Wimley, today. And? Apparently being spiteful and having lots of extramarital relationships could bring back my jaundice, so I'm going to be really nice from now on. Oh. So we can't call you Trixie Trouble anymore? Uh, no, in fact, it's Sister Trixie. <gasps> I'm taking holy orders. No. He's running me up to the convent in the Wolseley. But... <laughs> Hello. I thought you'd committed suicide. OK, see you later. <laughs> that was my so-called husband. Not dead at all. He says, put the triplets in their body warmers. He's taking us all to Manchester Zoo, if you please. <laughs> oh, it was just a cry for help, Miss Babs. Otherwise, why try and slash your wrist with an electric riser? Well, I'm going to go and find my king-size thermos. Looking at animals can be thirsty work. Mm. Oh, we'll go and look for it, Babs. Yes, Berta and I have lots to talk about. Well, if it's another christening... We will. <laughs> <laughs> she may be able to find my thermos. But will she ever find her twin brother? Well, all I know is his name's Derek, and there's a handyman in an antique shop. Derek? That's your name, isn't it, Derek? Well, yes, Miss Babs. And this is an antique shop? And you're a handyman? Oh, I must be Miss Berta's twin brother then, Miss Babs. Yes. Oh. Run along and tell her, Derek. <laughs> well, it's been a... <sighs> Both talking at the same time there, Mrs. Eyre. <laughs> oh, no. oh, he's just going to say. Somebody better answer that phone. Oh, no. I suppose I better answer it. You answer it, and I'll get you a nice cup of hot cup of coffee. You don't have to. After all, you are the sole proprietor of Acorn Antiques now. Hello? <laughs> Hello, Lisa. Yes, I certainly have heard of it. Yes, do. We're open till five. Bye. <laughs> well, it looks like we won't have to go out of business after all. I've just been offered Leonardo de Lisi's Mona Vinci in a very reasonable price. <laughs> and Miss Bert has found your thermos, and it's not a thermos at all. It's a very valuable silver antique Georgian wine cooler. Huh? Well, they say things go in threes. Why, whatever's the third thing? You remembered my sweetness. <laughs> 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 Sorry, Miss Babs, but I think you've got the wrong coffee. That one is full of poison, guaranteed to cause agonising death within minutes. <laughs>